I lost everything. What? No! So I want to make the best comeback mankind has ever seen to also soften my depression. All right, I'm going to absolutely conquer this world and our first order of business is to amass decent wealth. You know what? I'm not gonna sleep during this series. loot now so it's time to head out it stays seven currently meaning i spent a week underground anyway i saw a village right in this river over here i'm gonna build a base somewhere nearby if my diamond armor didn't point out what i'm doing i'm pretty much speeding through the beginning stage of the game since there's a lot that i need to get done so currently i'm collecting some sugar cane so i can get a max enchanting table as soon as possible there's a lot of farms that will build soon so an elytra and especially shulker boxes are going to be the best help for that in the same river as the village i put down another portal and built my temporary base right across a forest and of course i get the best possible nether spawn i just need a couple of trees and dirt all right now let's put down some farmland turn these into mud and plant some sugarcane on top since sugarcane grows faster on mud all right i'm quickly gonna get some animals but for that i need to get them a place to stay all right guys all in a line don't push each other off now get in here to receive your freedom let's also separate you from each other since as long as you're animals that's a legal thing to do i have to wait on the breeding cycle of the cows so in the meantime i'm going to head over to the fortress and get myself blaze rods it only takes one guess and the series is over dude i have a straight tunnel to the fortress this is amazing oh well, would you look at that? A spawner right where I enter. Oh, no, 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 get out, get out, get, no. Well, I have enough rods now. Okay, this bit is going to be quite boring, so let's spice it up a little. God, finally. Now you're useless. I've done quite a lot. Here are my staff. As you can see, the workspace conditions are wonderful. Here I have my cows, chickens, and sheep that are held protected under the law of humane living conditions for animals, especially the sheep. They're a big and cuddly family. You can really feel the family atmosphere. It becomes a photo album slideshow when you're nearby. Then there's this beautiful plains biome over here, which actually was a forest before. Anyway, I have everything I need from a mending villager to a max enchanting table, but what I don't have is levels. I've been fighting quite a few drowned in this river, and a small fact about me is that tridents are my favorite weapons in the game. So I am once again going to transform this biome from a plains to a stony shore and invest the dirt into a drowned farm so I can get my levels on my favorite weapon. And would you look at that, the magic of editing brought me here. Now that I have XP, I can easily max out my armor to finally make the dragon take its first L. Dude, I have my tridents, I'm the happiest adult in the overworld right now. I finally have my loyal trident and my riptide trident. I can finally go and beat the game. Nah, I'm just kidding. Maxing out my armor actually took me another day because I had to combine a lot of pieces so I went mining. Now I am ready. I only have thorns too and that only on my chest blade so I have to get a thorns villager but I really can't be bothered right now. Time to beat the game in hardcore for the second time ever.
That was just a one-time mistake. It's as easy as that. Haha, <laughs> you know what? You should honestly just subscribe for that. Bro, you guys, I am so rich. All right, we are back in the overworld, so let's get started with the base. I'm going to do this chronologically. The base we're building is quite big. I need over 31,000 blocks to build it. And for time's sake, I must do this efficiently. Before the materials of the base, I think it's best to build a good foundation for the series. Every world needs an iron farm, so let's knock that off the list first. After the iron farm, I'll make a raid farm for infinite totems and emeralds. This way, I won't die and lose the world before I even did anything. Following, I should make a creeper farm to get gunpowder for fire rockets but especially TNT because with the TNT I will go and mine for ancient debris. That's it for our world foundation meaning it is time for the mega base. I will need a total of 7100 terracotta and believe it or not there is a farm for this. No. I was going to use this design by El Mango but 17,000 blocks? That's almost as much as my base. Instead, I designed something myself, but more about that later. There are quite a few farms on the list. I need to color the terracotta, so we'll need a flower farm, tall flower farm, pickle farm, and a cactus farm. For most of those farms to work, I need bone meal, so we require a bone meal farm. Undoubtedly, the most important block for most farms to work is slime, so we'll also need a slime farm. And I'm also going to build a gravity block farm, but I've lost my patience to show you my self-designed farm. Or well, I actually mixed a dirt to clay farm designed by Jax with an extender designed by El Mango. Then I designed this downward pushing system and will AFK here with an alt, mining the blocks with a silk touch shovel. The blocks will fall onto these hoppers and will be sent into an otter smelter. There might be some mud blocks in between, so there is a sorting system separating the clay from the mud. This is a win-win because I need mud bricks for my base as well. This section right here is what I call the fuel cannon. When I switch these levers on, the magic happens. These carpets get sucked into these hoppers which fuel the furnaces that then poop out the terracotta which then reach their destination and get sorted into these chests. Yeah, this is actually the future and it's already built, so let's roll back the clock. All right, before the iron farm, I'm gonna continue my rampage of ecocide. All of the farms that I'll be building, or at least most of them, will exist mostly out of dirt. So instead of having to continuously dig for dirt, I'll just do it in one go. My shovel is starting to give out, so I need to heal it with some XP, but I currently don't have any good source of XP, so I think going to the nether is the best option. I know that I have a drowned farm, but for some reason it is very slow. But it's good that I go to the nether, because something I didn't tell you is that the mega base requires 9 beacons. That means I need 27 wither skulls, which is, you know, quite pricey. But by going to the nether now, I can both get skulls and XP for my shovel. That way I can kill 2 birds with 1 stone. And killing 2 birds with 1 stone I did, because not only did I get a skull from my first wither skeleton, I got one right after from the second one, and within the next 30 minutes I got not 3, not 4, not 5, nor 6, nor 7, nor 8, wait for it, but 9 wither skulls. You can barely see the last skull, but you can see me pick it up right here, or you can see it hidden right behind this particle. But anyway, I removed the rest of the dirt to finish my beautiful perimeter and then flew over to the end. Alright guys, let's go. 3 withers. Reminder, I lost my 1500 day hardcore world to a wither, but that's a whole different story. I built this thing without a tutorial because I'm a pro. I'm so sure that I did something wrong and I will 100% regret saying that. Let's go Minecraft veteran bro. Oh what? Okay let's not do that again. I rebuilt it this time with a tutorial. It works all right. We got three beacons, baby, but I can't really power them because I like the blocks. So now I should build the iron farm. I'm using a mod called Limatica that shows a hologram of the farm so I know where the blocks go. fishing farm for name tags for the zombies but the result is a disappointment. Then I found out you can buy them from villagers so I zombified one a couple of times and then got them for a good discount. Oh my god did you seriously fall? Oh no swift sneak no please please don't fall. You've got to be kidding me come on one of you just walk in there. 
Bro, where did you come from? Your name is Bob. Your name is Paul. Your name is Steve. And your name is Aaron Yeager. All right, that's a lot of iron already. All right, I was AFK for not so long. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's that's definitely a lot. I expanded the storage a little more and I will AFK for a little longer. Let's see. Oh, okay. Whoa, uh, uh, that's the wealth I'm talking about. I won't have to collect iron for the rest of my life. It's time to collect materials for the raid farm, but unlike the materials for the iron farm, which were pretty much dirt, stone, and water, now I actually have a list with quite a wide variety of items. I never know how to make item collections interesting for a video, so I really don't know what to talk about. I guess my future editing self has to somehow make this entertaining. I have 16 furnaces running and smelting the sand. This is so unnecessary. <laughs> On hoppers? Do you think I'm rich or so? Oh, never mind. Observe. Wait, I knew it. I don't need observer. I need piston. We have a problem. I built this slime farm above a slime chunk, but now I realize this farm was probably meant to be in a swamp. <sighs> news guys i built the farm in the correct biome and as you can see i'm getting tons of slime drops yeah just like my humor this farm just isn't working i gave up and manually started killing slime i just needed a couple of sticky pistons but i still collected more than i needed because i'd eventually need it need 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 it need need it you know there's something really calming about snow biomes let's finally start building this thing I lost the rest of the footage. I believe there's an outpost in this direction. I saw it nearby a village when I was collecting the sand. Oh, there it is. Moment of truth. Why is the raid not? Oh, I for oh my god, the villagers. Wait, no, 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 no. I am a genius. <laughs> of truth let's go it works this is the most insane farm ever i literally can't skip the creeper farm because i have more than enough gunpowder i flew over to some random beach and removed it from its existence and then used its sand for the good explosives also if my voice sounds a little weird i'm sorry i'm i i got the flu after a decent amount of digging tunnels planting explosives and them magically disappearing i was able to collect a good amount of ancient debris i found some netherite upgrades and bastions and trims as well and ended up with full shiny and classy netherite armor baby look at me i'm sick like I'm actually sick. Literally, I, I have the flu. To my luck, there's a meadow right there next to my base. And instead of doing this, one corn flower, two corn flower, we are going to build the nature farms. This one was quite simple. I mean, look at it. But then the bone meal farm was more complicated. It was mostly the item collection, but the build itself was also quite hard. <laughs> After I built the tall flower farm and the pickle farm, which both were simple as fuck. So I decided this is going a little too easy. So let's move to a different location and build a huge cacti farm that is just unnecessarily big. This legit got so complicated after a while. It was messing with my mind. Then it was time for my self-designed farm, which again, ugh, it's becoming repetitive, isn't it? Collect items, build the farms over and over. <clears throat> I collected wood, crafted hoppers, got some more redstone shit, went mining for dripstone, went mining for redstone, got a bee, extended its family tree, got some more wood, edited the bee house until they said, hey, that's good, cut their repetitiveness by going to the nether roof and traveling to the location of where I will build the mega base, carved out the space for the mega base by first using a pickaxe, but then going to the raid farm to grind gunpowder and craft TNT to blow the rest of the mountain up, and look at this, you can kinda see the shape of the base. <sighs> I created a book for all coordinates of my world, started a raid by accident, finished the raid, my cat gave birth, built a clay farm and I have to extend this sentence to fit the clip of me building it over 
this audio track. Went over to the fortress to get one, two, three wither skulls. Got my alt account to AFK at the mining station, or actually this is my main account and I've been playing and recording the entire video on my alt account. Also, for some reason, I was able to push myself with my vision. Can anyone explain this? And finally, let me say this slowly, I built a guardian farm that wasn't on my list because I forgot about it, but look at this, it's insane. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can finally build the mega base. I've spent nearly 600 days on this world and remember I did not sleep a single night. All of that for one reason. So I dug this tunnel and I'm going to do something. Something to obtain deep slate, but that something is also what made me lose my previous hardcore world. Like I'm being dead serious, this is the exact thing that killed me last time. Here goes nothing. Before wrapping up this video and starting the next mega project, I want to give a special thank you to a bro. Billy was kind enough to hop on a voice call with me and gave me great feedback on the schematic and even gave me some tips, for example a double wall, that is the entire reason that I have an interior. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.